Here's more wrestling news for June 24th, 2022. Paige had no choice but to bring an end to her in-ring career after she was kicked from the back by Sasha Banks during a 2017 WWE MSG show. Although she kept herself busy in other roles, it ended in a way we all expected. The first ever NXT Women's Champion recently announced that she'll be leaving WWE next month as WWE simply chose to not re-sign her contract. Paige was already announced for StarCast 5 in Nashville, Tennessee, as well as for World Association of Wrestling's Frightmare 4 on Saturday, October 15th. On a long-term basis, Paige has been weighing different career options and a certain well-wisher has some advice for the former WWE Champion. A former five-time WCW Champion wants Paige to join AEW. While speaking on his Hall of Fame show, Booker T said, Yeah, I would advise Paige to join AEW. I'd really love to see Paige on a big stage. If she's not going to be in WWE, definitely, I could see Paige doing some really, really good stuff there in AEW. People made my comment about Sasha big news because I don't look at Sasha the same way I look at Paige. It's just a matter of seeing something and what we could get out of this. That'd be a big for AEW to have someone like Paige walk out of that curtain. Paige is a star, bona fide. Let's hope Paige makes a wise decision and selects the right career path. Impact Wrestling is always looking to gain momentum, but they are apparently losing a bright star on the Knockouts roster. Just under a year after signing with the company, Lady Frost wants out. Lady Frost logged into Twitter today, and she made a public announcement about her pro wrestling future. It appears she requested her Impact Wrestling release today, but it was not noted whether it was granted. In her tweet, she thanked the incredible fans, staff, and locker room, Scott Damore and Gal Kim for the opportunities given to her. We will have to see what Lady Frost does next in her career. Despite an injury setback, she is still going just as strong as ever. If you add in the fact that she has a booming OnlyFans page, then her fans will still be able to connect with her and see plenty of her content on that platform at least. AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling's Forbidden Door event is coming on the 26th, but the card needed to be changed again. Now Tomohiro Ishii is out of action. Tomohiro Ishii was set to take on Pac, Miro, and Malachi Black in a fatal four-way for the AEW All-Atlantic title, but now Ishii is out of commission. New Japan Pro Wrestling's official website broke the unfortunate news that Ishii is now out of the match. Clark Connors will replace him at the historic pay-per-view. Tomohiro Ishii, who was scheduled to compete on June 26th at AEW NJPW Presents Forbidden Door, has sustained a left knee injury and is not medically cleared to compete. We apologize to fans who were looking forward to seeing Ishii wrestle and appreciate your understanding. After a hard-fought qualifying match in Corican Hall on June 21st, Clark Connors will take Ishii's place in the All-Atlantic Championship 4-Way at Forbidden Door. Pac vs. Miro vs. Malachi Black vs. Clark Connors will still be a fantastic match, but a lot of fans are going to be disappointed that Tomohiro Ishii is out of the contest. We will continue monitoring this ongoing story as the event draws closer. You can check out an updated card below. Ric Flair will have his controversial last match on July 21st in Nashville, Tennessee. Many wrestling fans have been skeptical about a 73-year-old man with a pacemaker stepping into the ring. Ric Flair, on the other hand, does not seem to be the least bit worried. At a press conference today to hype Ric Flair's last match, the Nature Boy addressed questions about his health and preparedness for the bout. On more than one occasion, Flair hinted that the match could be a bloody affair. He promised that he would have an object on him during the fight to make himself bleed. I think people, especially in the South, they like wrestling. We called it when I first got to Charlotte. David Crockett knows it was me and Richard Petty I'm talking about in the old days, and Jeff Jarrett knows what I'm talking about. When guys would take a chisel, right? You'd cut off the end of a chisel and put it in a metal plate and put it in their fingers, and that was a hard way. Boom. Chisel right in the head. Not a blade, a chisel. So I can't guarantee you a chisel, but I'll have something with me. Earlier during the press conference, Flair said that he would not take his blood thinners on the day of the show. That's a heavy indicator that Ric Flair plans to spill blood in the match, and although he may not go all the way with the old-school chisel routine, it looks like Flair will get some color. Ric Flair's final opponent has yet to be announced as of this writing, however, a recent development might put some doubt on who would be involved come July. Fightful Sean Ross Sapp reported behind his paywall that AEW president Tony Khan has yet to give the okay for FTR to be involved in Flair's final match. 
It was initially reported that Flair would team with FTR to take on the Rock and Roll Express and another partner, however, FTR's involvement remains up in the air. We're told the working plan is a tag team match, and there are names in mind, but we haven't gained word that anything has been finalized. The working plan was for Steamboat and the Rock and Roll Express to take on FTR and Flair. However, we're told there were several hurdles in the way. Also, FTR had to gain clearance for the match from AEW founder Tony Khan. Flair has been training with AEW star Jay Lethal for months in the lead up to the big event. Rick is planning to go out with a roar rather than a whimper, but time will tell how everything goes. Cody Hall has opened up about WWE Hall of Famer Scott Hall and the struggles of being the son of the bad guy. The young Hall has followed in his father's footsteps, becoming a pro wrestler at the age of 19. He is best known as a member of the AJ Styles-led Bullet Club in New Japan Pro Wrestling, but has worked in several other Japanese and American indie promotions. Cody Hall recently joined Chris Van Vliet for an episode of the Insight Podcast. During the podcast, Cody admitted that it remains a struggle to live up to his famous father's name. He said that his father was a great man, but it's been difficult finding his own path in the wrestling business. Every show that I go to, people want to say such and such about my father. Oh, he was the coolest, he was the best, and it's hard to live down. No matter what I did, people would never acknowledge it. It would always be about my father, so that was definitely a struggle for me and kind of still is. Cody also revealed that he's still trying to find himself in professional wrestling. He noted that he used to love doing his dad's wrestling moves, but it became difficult because people would only think of his father. Cody Hall has also credited Diamond Dallas Page for saving his dad's life when he was suffering with addiction issues and has said during that time, Cody and his family were able to create more goodwill and memories with Scott before he passed away. Cody noted during the interview that he hasn't had any communication with WWE and the promotion never reached out to him for a tryout. Here's wishing Cody a bright future in wrestling. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.